Yo, what's up guys, it's Easier back with another video and today we're going to be reviewing and customization, customizing, my bad, the Ocelot Penetrator. I currently just bought this car on Valentine's Day of 2020, that is February 14th, 2020 at 1.28am. I don't know if you guys want to know that, it's kind of unnecessarily, but I will show you guys a deal going on currently in this week. You know, if you guys, if this video comes out after the week is over, I apologize. But this is how much I paid for it. Um, it is currently on sale for I believe 38, uh, five or 40 percent off. I uh, I don't actually know like completely uh what it was. I don't know if it was 35 or 45, but it is a pretty nice car and I do like the the enjoy it. So for a I think that is 50% off because I have the Twitch Prime, so I paid 440000 for the Ocelot Penetrator. This vehicle is part of the import and export DLC. Let's go ahead and get on to the customization and the uh, review. Um, if you guys want some background information on this car, uh, let me know down in the comment section and I will automatically just completely fill up the description with the background information on this car when it came out what DLCs is a part um, just all that types of stuff you guys want me to let you guys know I'm more than, look, more than welcome to so let's go ahead and get to the mod shop currently in stock right now it does drive pretty well it does have a pretty good um whoa Dang. All right. Well, let me uh move on. Look at how much the art my arcade has. I haven't even checked on that thing. Dang. So, so far the handling is nice. The speed from zero to sixty it goes. Pre I'm pretty sure it can for a supercar. This thing can hit zero to sixty pretty fast. Let's go ahead and take it into the LSC. Let's see what we can do. So. It does look pretty sleek, like a Lamborghini. I don't know if that is actually what Ocelot is, but it is looking pretty fresh. Let's go ahead and put some armor on there, some brakes, you know, whatever, you know, the just the bumpers. You know, I do this in every car review. You know, ooh, put on engine four. This, um, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Uh, valve covers, make them blue. Yeah, feel me, um, exhaust. You know, you got to have the twin exhaust. What kind of hood do you think you want? Um, I think I'm going to go with just the standard hood. You know, a sleek hood. Uh, put some Xeon lights. Uh, make this thing. I think I'm going to go with the, this thing. I think it's only a single color, so I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to make it a pink. No, 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 no. A purple. I'm going to go with a purple. Um, don't really care about the play. I think I'm gonna go with a matte purple. Do I have that unlocked? I do not. That would have been so fresh. Huh, man. Or even a green would have looked really nice. But I don't have that, so I guess we're gonna have to go with old reliable. Go into. Damn, that would have looked fresh too. But you know, you go into a bright. Or actually, we could look through the purples. I think I'm going to go with this, a bright purple with a pearlescent of like a blue, a racing blue on purple. This actually does look really nice. Um, should I throw some pink on there? I don't even know to completely be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I think I'm going to go, ooh, look at how that thing hits the light though. Mmm, I like that. I do like that a lot. I'm going to go with the Fister pink. Um, currently my Rockstar crew thing is messing up, so I don't really even care. Um, I don't really care about the skirts. Spoiler, do I want to put a GT wing on this thing? You know, asking myself this question three years ago, I would have put a GT wing on everything. But I'm starting to appreciate the value of the car. Um, I think I might do a small spoiler, like a drift wing. Um, you already know, put the transmission, the turbo... Um, this is a supercar, so we're gonna put some uh, tuner wheels. I'm just one. Uh, high end wheels. Put some like, God, these things is actually kind of expensive. Not gonna lie. Put some of them on there. You feel me? Make these. Ooh, that does look. Ooh, that looks crispy. 
um, put some purple rims on there, uh, make them custom tires, bulletproof tires, and have it some purple smoke, so you feel me, and then put it on black windows. This thing is looking pretty crispy, not gonna lie to you. The customization, even though it is pretty bare bones, one, you know, one color, this thing, you can make a really nice ride out of this thing, not gonna lie to you. Alright, let's go ahead and get this thing on the road, and we'll see how it goes. So, alright, so let's see how this thing goes. Mmm. This thing drives pretty nice, not gonna lie to you. Let's see how this thing goes. So, so far, by the aesthetic and looks that I put on the car, even the stock, I get a 7 out of 10. Now, with all my customizations, even though it was pretty bare bones and just a color change, obviously, I'm going to give it a higher rating because of the color. But if I'm being realistic, I give this thing, for it not being the best supercar, but for only being 400,000, I think the Zinterno was like 800,000. For this thing to be only, only... For this thing, for how much I paid for it, 400000 I give this thing about 7 maybe 8 And Ooh, my driving is atrocious. Ignore that, but yeah, man. I give this thing about an 8 or a 7 for being uh, 400000 Now, if I'm going to pay 800000 for this thing, I don't believe that it's that best of a car versus the other cars that are 800000 and only just a little bit more. Now, aesthetically, by the looks, I do appreciate the lowered... Supercarness, I do, I do appreciate that a lot. Um, this thing is very, very. I like the design. It's like it kind of reminds me of like a Hot Wheel, to be on completely honest with y'all. Which is pretty nice, you know. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, now, for new players watching this video, watching this review, that don't really have much money, do I recommend you buy this car for? say normal price 800,000 no now if you are if you have a pretty large sum of money or a pretty decent sum of money should you purchase this car completely up to you personally I bought it because it was on sale and it looked really cool but if you want to be completely um, efficient with your money and you want something that's fast and reliable I would pick something else for 800,000 all right well Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think about this car. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! For a new